this is great. We've popped out the harbour, a little bit of sun on our backs, very, very nice. First thing to notice is that we're not very far away from the, uh, from the land, from Chesil Beach just over there. So basically the wind has hardly had any, any distance to blow over the water, so there's very little fetch, which is that term. And as we can see around us, there's hardly any sea state. Um, if we look just a little bit further out that way though, you can see that the water is getting darker and more ruffled. Uh, and what we expect as we go across to the other side of Portland Harbour is that the sea state will increase. Um, what a lovely day to be on the water though. Okay, well we've come over across to the other side of the harbour. You can see the sea state is a lot more now. The ribs, the ribs rocking and rolling a lot more than it was. It's just a really nice indication of how how, how important fetch is and fetch is the distance over which the, 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 the wind um, has to, to, to mess up the sea state. And along the harbour wall there, you'll get the waves bouncing back off it. And that effect can last for a good 100 or 200 metres back away from the wall of the obstruction. So whether you're racing or whether you're trying to get into a harbour entrance safely, just be aware that it can be really mixed up in, a, in an onshore wind. And that's something to think about if you're trying to make your, uh, your, an entry into a harbour in rough weather um, or, or you're sailing close to something like this which can reflect sea states. Mm -hmm. 